this is Veena Prashant from digitalaccessbanks.com. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the minimum requirements to use the DAP shopping card. Now, if you want to allow your buyers an option to pay using credit card, then you must have an authorized.net merchant account or a stripe.com account or a PayPal Payments Pro account. You must have one of the three to allow your buyers an option to pay using credit card. Now the advantage of this option is that the users will stay on your site. They will not get transferred to any other place, any other site. After the payment is completed successfully, DAP will automatically create a membership account for the user and then they will get transferred to the uh, page that you have configured. You can send them to any page of your choice. Now, if you have a PayPal standard account, then you can also allow your buyers to purchase using their credit card or purchase by deciding to check out with PayPal. Now, you need to have a PayPal standard account to be able to do this. When a user clicks on check out with PayPal, the user is going to get transferred to the PayPal site where they can complete the payment. After the payment is complete, DAP will automatically create a membership account for the user and then transfer them back to your site. Now where they ultimately land, it is all configurable. You can decide where you want them to finally land after the purchase is complete. If all you have is a PayPal standard account, if you do not have Authorize.net or a Stripe or a PayPal Payment Pro account, then the only option you can have is a checkout with PayPal on your checkout page. So when your buyers click on this button, they will get transferred to PayPal and DAP will still be able to automatically create a membership account for the user and then transfer them to wherever you want. So these are the three options. Uh, you can decide what the checkout page should have, what option it should show for payment uh, when you do the button generation in DAP. So you can tell the button generation process, the type of payment processor, and you can decide whether you want to allow checkout with credit card, checkout with PayPal, or checkout with both. We will cover the button generation in detail in a different video. If you are going to be allowing your users to pay using credit card on the checkout page, then please make sure that your buy now page where you accept credit card is on HTTPS. Your entire site does not need to be on HTTPS, but the buy now page where the users enter credit card, it should be on HTTPS for PCI compliance and for security. If it's not HTTPS enabled yet, you're waiting for your web host to enable security, uh, then please do not go live with the DAP shopping card until HTTPS is enabled for your Buy Now page. If you want to use the DAP shopping card, you need to be on DAP 4.5 or above and LiveLinks version 1.9 or above. If you are on an earlier version of DAP, an older version of DAP, then please make sure to log into digitalaccesspass.com, go to your downloads page, download the latest version of DAP, which should be 4.5 or above, LiveLinks 1.9 or above, and then upload it to your site. Using these instructions, uh, regular DAP upgrade instructions, make sure you have upgraded your site to the latest version of DAP, and then you can use the DAP shopping cart.